Hi folks, Ken Ring here of PredictWeather.com. Just to mix it up a little bit and change the subject tonight, I thought we might talk about rainbows. Rainbows are beautiful things. They feature a lot in folklore. Uh, not many people know too much about them, it seems, uh, but I thought I'd share with you uh, some of the few bits that I've noticed and that I've studied over the years. Rainbows are actually very high distant mists and they're shone upon by the sun at a reflective angle so as to disperse the white light into spectral colours. They're like little prisms, each one. Uh, for a rainbow to form, there have to be clouds of a certain height and this is most often possible with the moon out of the sky. So we're talking about a first quarter moon in the morning or last quarter moon in the afternoon or during a full moon time when the moon's not in the sky until the evening. Uh, now the time of the day is important. If you see a rainbow in the morning, generally it's, all, it's in the west. In fact, it's always in the west. And in the evening, if you see a rainbow, well, it's always in the east. And a rainbow in the west means that rain is coming, and a rainbow in the east means that rain is going. If you see a, rain at, if you see a rainbow at noon, uh, it's quite unusual to see that. It means that there's a heavy shower soon. And if you see the rainbow in the eastern sky, remember east evening, E-E, -E, it actually means that the next day will be dry uh, because the rain is actually going. Rainbow in the west, they used to say, rainbow in west that gleams, rain falls in streams. So when you see it in the morning and it's in the west, Generally, it's uh, a sign of quite heavy weather. If you see small broken pieces of rainbow and, they're, and it's against a cloudy sky, sometimes they're called weather galls and they signify storms and blustery weather around. So it's the rainbow plus the clouds. If a rainbow fades very quickly, then they reckon good weather is on the way. That's a very old folklore thing that uh, you see it and suddenly you look again and it's gone. Well, generally, there's enough heat in the atmosphere making it disappear quickly, and it's a sign of good weather. Now, the height of the rainbow is quite important, and the distance of it. So, if you're over water, and the rainbow actually doesn't reach down to the water, like to the sea, it sort of hangs in the air, then that's a sign of good weather following, the good weather not far off, a clearing. But if the rainbow is low down in the mountains, so you're looking at it and it's just appearing over the top of the mountains. That's supposed to be a bad sign for crops. Um, uh, if you see a rainbow at great distance away, so it's, it's you know, right over, over some hills way in the distance, that is a sign of good weather coming as well. Now the colours are quite different because sometimes you look at a rainbow and one colour predominates over and above another. Uh, if you see red predominating, red is a sign of wind. If you see green, more green, darker green, green means rain uh, in the rainbow. And if there's a bigger band of blue, or if the blue is brighter, it generally means that there's a clearing soon. Blue is the sign of clearing and fair weather to come. Uh, if red is the strongest colour, then rain and wind could be together. Uh, if the blue predominates, as we said, the weather is clearing. So you've only really got the red and the green and the blue to look at. Those are the primary colours. Uh, if the, you only see two principal colours, uh, you'll probably see red and yellow because they'll be the main ones. They'll be the ones that appear first. And if you see that, just red and yellow, then that means good weather is coming and that's going to last several days. If the green is large and very bright, remember what we said, green is the sign of rain. Uh, whereas red is wind. So green, large and bright, is a sign of continued rain if that green is predominating. If the rainbow is very wide, that means, um, and, and the colours are very distinct, big and wide, very distinct, and the green and the blue are predominating, well, that generally means that there's going to be a lot of rain the next night in 24 hours time. And when you're looking at it and it's starting to disappear and the red color is the last to disappear, well that actually means that there's still more rain and wind to come. Um, longer range, if, they see, if you see rainbow in the spring, 
uh, than it was generally in the past in the old folklore. Rain and spring meant fair weather for 24 hours. So uh, because spring, I guess, is so cha changeable, you can't really put any, any strong reliance on what's coming up beyond the 24 hours. If, the, if you've had a lot of wet weather and you see a rainbow, well, of course, it's a sign of clearing up. Uh, but if the rainbow disappears all at once, just like what we said before, the rain, the rainbow disappearing quickly, if the whole thing disappears all at once, then that's a sign of good weather coming. And lastly, if you see triple rainbows or double rainbows, you know, they're quite pretty. You see one above the other. Uh, that means fair weather for now, but heavy rains are coming again soon. So double rainbow, not so good, just a temporary clearing, and then you're going to get some more rain. So I hope when you look at rainbows, you know, you might get a bit, bit of a, uh, a new idea about them and, uh, you know, share this with your friends, uh, especially your, your kids. Kids love rainbows and they might get something out of this little video clip. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll bring some more to you soon.